Welcome to the Shearwalls online tutorial for the US edition. In the previous training video, the difference between flexible and rigid diaphragm distribution assumptions was demonstrated. In reality, because diaphragm is behaving somewhat between rigid and flexible, it would be prudent to run the analysis for a worst case scenario with both flexible and rigid diaphragm assumptions. Although it makes sense to do both flexible and rigid analysis all the time from a software perspective, we also discussed that ASC7 does permit designers to assume rigid diaphragm distribution only. This is the same existing model used in previous tutorials. The link to download this file is available in the description below. Now, if we run the design using the rigid diaphragm analysis, the log file becomes populated with torsional analysis details. If we look at the top of the log file, we can see the rigid diaphragm analysis. For wind design, Shearwalls considers the inherent torsion when the center of loading is different from the center of rigidity. For seismic design, Shearwalls considers the inherent torsion and 5% accidental eccentricity for conditions meeting the requirements in ASC 7 Clause 12.8.4.2. The torsional analysis reports the direct shoreline force, torsional force, and total force after the torsional analysis for each shoreline. It also reports the torsional rigidity J for both the X and Y directions of the structure, the center of rigidity, and the center of loading, among other information. If you return to the loads and forces tab, switch to either wind or seismic loads, then switch to rigid analysis, both the center of loading and center of rigidity will be displayed in plan view on each story.